So I've grossed about close to $22,000 and the first, not the first, my bad. I've grossed about, you know, $22,000 in the past 30 days and your first 30 days is on as an owner operator. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Intro Mike back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna actually just show you guys. Um, this is kind of for my newer subscribers. I really don't make too much content nowadays because I feel like it's getting repetitive with the vlogs. Uh, not too much information I could cover uh, that I haven't already somewhat covered in my first year of Hot Shot. We're the 18 months I've been in trucking in general. So I think this video will be really good for all the new guys subscribing, uh, thinking about getting into this industry someday. Um, and I'm just going to keep it real with y'all and let y'all know, you know, the small things I've noticed. Um, my first 100,000 miles, like, I might make a video on that showing, you know, what my equipment has been through while I've been out here on the road. Uh, what kind of money you can expect. Uh, the downfalls, brokers who will work with you. This is kind of like, a, it's, it's a pretty important video in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to switch it over to the laptop, show you guys something real quick. Yo, so the first thing I want to kind of get into this video and what not to expect is that number in the corner right there. So, you know, I've grossed about close to $22,000 and the first, not the first, my bad. I've grossed about, you know, $22,000 in the past 30 days and your first 30 days is on as an owner operator, unless you're leased on to a company, you've aged your uh, MC authority. Um, like when starting your insurance, Having about 90 days on your authority can be a major advantage getting to this industry because a lot of brokers are pushing back their age requirement. Like it used to be 30 to 60 days for a lot of brokers. Now it's a lot of six months to a year. It's just plain and simple, maybe due to claims, damages, things of that nature. A lot of people not knowing, you know, being up to par on securement when getting out here and it's hurting your chances to come out here and make a decent living your first month. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to touch on that point. You're not gonna come out here probably averaging 5K a week in your first week, not to be uh, not to be in a negative way, not to be in a negative life. I, I had like a, not a formula, but an idea I want you guys to think about. I believe in the first 90 days, maybe 50% of brokers, we'll give you 50. 50% of brokers will work with you 90 days to three months to six months, you basically, let's say 75, 80 ish. Then right at the six months, like six months to a year, 90, 95% of brokers. I say that only 5% of brokers that won't work with you will be the ones uh, over two years, you know? Um, so you just want to make sure you guys get you a Twit card. Uh, if you got any other certifications like Hazmat, you just want to be as qualified as, per as possible. Uh, and, and make sure you have a longer trailer, which that's going to get me into my second topic. I want you guys to think about when you're researching, depending on how long your trailer is, it's going to depend on how much money you're going to make. It's plain and simple. If you guys come out here with a 20 plus five flatbed hot shot in your first month, you're not going to make as much as that 40 foot. And they can be on the same, they can, they can be able to scale the same amount of weight. So if you got a 25 foot uh, flatbed hot shot and you can scale 10,000 10, pounds, you're not gonna do no better than that guy with a 40 foot trailer on 7K axles carrying that same, you know, nine, 10,000 pounds, I'm telling you. So make sure you do extra, like not extra research, but make sure if you're gonna come out here, don't, don't be afraid of getting a longer trailer. Cause me, I, I just kind of thought like, damn, do I really wanna come out here inexperienced with a combination vehicle and and drive a trailer that long if i don't even know how to back it parallel park it alley dock it none of that 
I just maybe at best I can make wide turns. But even then, that was all new to me. Like making wide turns at a four way stop was pretty difficult for somebody who had never been in a combination vehicle. Um, so I want you guys to take that chance. I know it's, it's kind of scary. A lot of people I talk to them and they say, damn, like 40 feet, that's that's a long trailer. But they make more money in the long, long run. You're going to be financing that trailer if you don't buy it out of cash for, you know, your first year to two, three years. So make sure you finance a trailer that's going to, you know, make that return on investment. All right. Another thing I want you guys to expect is be prepared to sit a day or two when you first start, because your first 30 days, 30 to 60 to 90 days, you're only going to have so many, you know, really decent paying lows, decent paying partials to where you're going to pick them up and deliver them the next day. Um, even me, I struggle finding lows sometimes. Uh, and I think that's what owner operators really may need in the, the near future. Uh, if anything, I think you guys need to be more educated on, you know, knowing the lanes, knowing what to ask a broker for certain loads. Like if a load is two feet tall and needs tarps, why you should charge more for a load that's six feet tall or eight foot tall and need tarps. Um, you think it's common sense, but a lot of people are just taking loads for, for whatever. And I think being more informed about the industry, you guys won't come in. Uh, mess up the lanes that you're running and not just charging it up. And what comes with another tip too, I, I just want you guys to know, expect to pull over a lot more in your first, you know, 30 to 60 days. And when I say pull over, not like DOT wise, hopefully not, but your securement may not be up to par with everybody else's. You're still going to be learning like, do I want to do DOT wrap. Am I going to go straight through the rub rail? Uh, how tight on certain loads you should go. Um, my personal pet peeve is securing down cardboard boxes. Uh, I've just had some horrible experiences not knowing how tight to go. Uh, now, thankfully, I've never had anything fall off the trailer. Um, there are certain loads that a broker is going to tell you, hey, you might need straps on it. And you pull up to the receiver and you're going to realize you need chains. So um, just know that. Just know that. Be, be prepared to do anything. Broker might tell you something is five foot tall. And you pull up to the shipper and it's eight feet tall. Just know how to get there, plan accordingly, and charge accordingly. Charge more because if it's taller, it's going to take more. When you, you just need to know how to navigate, negotiate, and talk to people. Be willing to talk to people. Don't don't. First thing I got to do is go get me an A1 dispatcher because that dispatcher may not know what it's like to actually be out on the road and, and think and be quick on your feet. You know, that's what you got to be in this industry. You got to be quick on your feet. You got to be willing to run. And that's another thing. Don't expect to be local. A lot of people, you know, they'll come in the, uh, the emails and they'll want dispatch. They'll say, hey, I want to go out. I want to go out no more than two, three hundred miles a day. And I want to be home every night. It's, it sounds great. And, and I just got to be real with the type of equipment you have. It's just not possible like that. Like starting off with a new MC, no customers running spot loads. It's not possible in my opinion, to stay local, be home every night, maybe every weekend, but every night you're just pushing it. That's that's too much to ask, not only from any dispatcher, but for yourself. So when you're researching into this, I hope nobody kind of tagged you along the idea that you could be home every single night, make 500 to to $1,000 a day in a hot shot and be super profitable, profitable out the gate. Get, get your mind wired. If you're going to actually go over the road, to being over the road two to three weeks at a time minimum you know what i'm saying and once you actually get skin in the game once you built some relationships once you know okay once i get to this certain place i know it's gonna be loads coming back to this certain place you can actually work and maneuver the load board a little quicker a little easier and you'll know okay this is what i'm doing tomorrow and you can kind of plan accordingly uh but you got you. You got, you're probably gonna kind of be on a rat race the first two three months, just learning everything, learning lanes, learning. Okay, when I go up ninety five, it's a lot more smoother than going through forty or uh, going down I ten and I twenty is a whole different beast than I eighty or I ninety. So that's that's something to expect. I, if you ever run any lane to Texas, just expect. The roads there or in Louisiana to just be straight trash. Shout out to Houston. And like I said, 
the to end this video off, I don't mean to uh, be negative in any of this. I just kind of wish there was some small things people would have told me. This is not going to be a long video. I wish there was some small things uh, other content creators would have told me uh, when starting off. Just so you know, like, you're not the only one out there going through it. And if you just started and you're wondering, oh, these dudes are lying about making 5K a week, like, uh, newsflash, bro. It's, it's plenty possible. Um, I also might go over stuff like reserves and factoring. Like, there's been a time where there was up to $4,000 in the reserves that hasn't been released. And the reserves come from the money that you factored. So it's not hitting your bank account. It's just going straight to res to the reserves due to, you know, a load not being paid past 60 days. And I think more topics like that or things that, you know, can be more educational and informal to informational to help y'all, you know, not just coming on here coming on the platform every week to, to flex, trying to find a way to keep making content for you guys in an educational, informational way without being too boring and repetitive. So if you guys got any video ideas, I want you to drop them down now. Um, if you want free access to DAT load board, that's the load board I'm going to be using tomorrow to book myself out of Georgia. By the way, look at these terrible work. Look at these rates, man. 100 loaded miles. Of course, I got 100 dead head. Going for 300 bucks. Just get ready for it. This going to matter of fact, these are going to be your, your favorite brokers right here. You got people like TQL, Total Quality Logistics. They'll take you the first day you start, but they have a lot of cheap freight, in my opinion. Uh, you got PLS. I'm pretty sure they're probably 30 to 60 days. Uh, Landstar, they're a pretty good brokerage. Um, expect to be filling out a lot of carrier packets when you start. So, dispatching point blank period is going to probably be one of the toughest things you deal with as a new carrier unless you lease on to somebody else. So if you guys are actually interested in leasing on to a, an authority that's been aged for about 20 months, we're going to, we, we, you know, closer to two years uh, than one. Um, hit the link in the description at stream trucking. Uh, believe the website is still up. If you guys want to put in an application, once I see your application, I'll reach out to you. Uh, just give me time because I will be hitting the road tomorrow morning. You guys will probably be seeing this during the week. Um, and yeah, I want you guys to just stay tuned. Um, I will be drop, dropping more information. Uh, it just may not be as current. Like I may not be able to post twice a week like I used to do or post once a week unless I have some real information to share y'all. Um, but like I said, if you guys want to drop down video ideas, just let me know. Um, and I'll be, if, if I haven't already covered it, I'll, I'll look into covering it. Peace.